Hello everybody, this is the 17th lecture of the IELTS. Today we are going to take another example for how to write task 1, a diagram. The question says the diagram below shows how a dredger can remove mud from the bottom of canals. The table compares features of the canal dredger with those of a coastal dredger. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Okay, in this statement says compares. That means in this case for the diagram we need to make a comparison. Now, let's come to the information below. We are having this one, this picture and Besides that, we are having a schedule. The schedule explains everything here. Now, let's come to the first paragraph. We say the diagram and table. When we talk about, about it, we talk about a diagram and table. Why? Because we are having a table here. The diagram and table provide information on different types of dredger that are used to clean up dirty water. Canal and coastal dredgers perform a similar function, but they differ considerably in terms of their size and power. And this is what is mentioned here in the table. Okay, we have in the diagram the diagram explains, as it explains that, they have the same thing to do, or the same things to do, which is mentioned here in the function, the similar function, but they, they are different in the size and in the power. Okay, a canal trudger carries a suction pump with rotating plates which are lowered into the canal by two hydraulic arms. These stir up the mud, called slurry, on the bottom of the canal, and this is then sucked up by the, center, the centrifugal pump. From the pump, the mud is discharged through a large tube into a shuttle belt located behind the dredging boat. When the shuttle boat is full of mud, it's towed away and the mud is dumped. Compared to a coastal dredger, a canal dredger is a lot smaller. It's only 22 meters long rather than 85 meters and is also less broad. Coastal dredgers are made to be used in the sea and can suck up sand and mud from a depth of 35 meters, while canal dredgers are made for much shallower waters. Clearly dredgers have to be specially designed to suit the environment in which they will operate. Ok, what, what we did here is that, in the first paragraph, we have just made uh, an introductory to what we are going to talk about. In the second paragraph, we talked about their function, which is the diagram, while in the third one, we talked about the table, which is the comparison between the canal dredger and the coastal dredger. This is, for example, or maybe any other uh, items or machines or whatever we do. Okay, we come to the end of this lecture. Thanks for watching this lecture. If you liked it, just press the button of subscribe. If you have any questions, please ask them. If you have any criticism, please also write them in the comments. That was Mr. Haidal Qasir with you. Thank you very much.